I am a, a big proponent of not taking someone on and then immediately going into the prep. Um, it is something that I have not done for a long time because there's, it's very challenging for the coach to just jump in and then make every call right with knowing very little on the athlete. And um, I'm not willing to give a lesser service because of the aspect in which I am shooting from the hip from the jump. Now, do I have the tools to be able to make it happen? I most definitely do. I feel he very definitely confident. definitely does. <laughs> I feel confident in, in how I go about things. I feel confident that I would be able to get the individual into shape and be great on stage. But at the same time, the enjoyment of my work is very important, important to me as well. And I enjoy the aspect of getting to understand and know the client and we can have better results by having the data collection prior. I'm able to see how their body responds to different types of training and different types of, of food allotments. Do we respond better to, uh, this, this size of a refeed? Do we respond better to a higher protein? What's our digestion look like? Um, what are some of the things that cause greater inflammation to their physique? Do we have trouble with sleep? Do we have trouble with water consumption? How is our fruit and vegetable consumption? All these different things are very challenging to get a read on in the prep. If we've already started the prep and I'm trying to figure all those things out, and that was just a off the top of the head, I'm sure there's probably 50 other things that I'm going to uh, be on that list is very challenging and and it can cause a hindrance where at, at like I just said I don't do this but I had two individuals who are were very adamant that we started this prep and they were really wanted to do it so I went ahead and did it one individual has responded immensely well to the protocols she's going to look fantastic the other client did not respond well at the beginning of the of the contest prep now we've we've been able to clean things up and and it's had to be much more aggressive than it needed to be to get to shape where she's going to look great on stage and she is but it does cause that issue of like if I hit a home run right off the bat great but sometimes that's not going to always happen and so putting yourself in a position where you are investing into the coach prior to the contest prep, it's going to be a much better experience for you both and a much greater likelihood of no hiccups potentially during the prep. And just to say like this as our job as coaches, we want to do the absolute best that we can for you. And if you don't give us that, how can we accomplish what results you're wanting? So you have to be extremely realistic. If you're asking a coach to shoot from the freaking hip, to be like, hey, I know that this might not be the perfect situation and I'm okay with that instead of thinking, oh, this coach is magic because I've seen them have all of these results with another person where there's a lot that goes into a prep and there's a lot that goes into a coach-client relationship and not having those nailed down, you're playing catch up and you're adding unnecessary stress and you are adding honestly a lot to the coach's plate of now, hey, you have to take a crash course in what my life is and now fix it all and then get me ready for stage. And that's a little bit inconsiderate when you do think about it of I wasn't allowing this person to do their job the way that they need to do it to see the success and thinking that I'm going to get the same success when I do allow them to have that space. So I think that's something I just want to vocalize like from a coach perspective that I feel like we don't get to talk about a lot of like we we want what's best for you and we want you to succeed. And it's not easy telling a client they're not ready to diet or they're not ready for stage or they're going to have to pu push their show back. And trust me, it it doesn't make it any easier for us to do that either um, it, within our schedule because we plan out different things and we have that. But we're not willing to like have someone show up and just be like, oh, that was good enough because that's not really how we function. Um, and we also don't wanna do crash preps because we are very focused on health, which is again, something I've mentioned, but my health is in the best spot that it's ever been within a prep. I still have within being pretty dang close to a show right now, I still have my cycle. I'm still rocking and rolling on all the metrics that I need to. I'm gonna get some hormones tested here to double check, but we're going in the direction and I'm gonna be in a really positive spot post-show because of the time that I've allowed before the show, my work ethic and communication and Alex's attention to my health during the prep. And that is going to allow for pretty smooth sailing post-show. So you also want to think about yourself post-show of, am I willing to put myself in this position that things aren't sturdy 
and it's going to be kind of a hurricane that I have to deal with in a few months after the show.